Hi there. I've been asked to put this video together from Feeding Stephen and Aaron in Scotland. And my name is Justin King and I'm one of a fair few of volunteers who this year were faced with uh, an unbelievably horrible crisis um, in terms of avian flu, which, as you know, is not just affecting the whole of the UK, but it is also affecting the US, parts of Europe, and by all accounts, it seems to be spreading and going a lot further out. This year has been a terrible year in terms of trying to rescue baby girls and adult girls, and for the first time ever in Brighton and Hove, which is where I'm recording this video right now in my car, um, avian flu came to town, and that started in April and May which took us all by surprise. Um, none of us expected it. Avian flu has, of course, existed in other wa waterfowl and other wildlife, such as swans and ducks, for a number of years. Um, and it seems to be becoming much more frequent now. Uh, and again, it really has thrown us all for a loop. On top of a very stressful baby season, pretty much all veterinary surgeons in the UK shut their doors. Wildlife centres also had to shut their doors to protect the um, birds and animals in their care, uh, which also temporarily included bird aid in Hailsham, who we all know through previous campaigns, but they were the first to reopen and pretty much stayed open to help us, albeit remotely, um, during the summer and during the autumn, which was absolutely wonderful. But bird aid have had to take on a much bigger responsibility for girls because we lost another wildlife site in Brighton, um, much earlier on in the year, around about the time avian flu came out. And then avian flu hit and it was left to people like myself, volunteers, not just in Sussex, but also across the UK too, to take it upon themselves to take in baby girls that were found in the streets and couldn't be returned back up to their nests, um, and also adult girls who were suffering from all types of injuries and illnesses. Um, and on top of that, we were also out at the crack of dawn till about 1, 2 a.m. in the morning, picking up um, avian flu-affected girls where, by and large, we had no choice but to take them to vets because they were too far gone and they had to be put to sleep. To talk about the effect it's had on the volunteers, I could be here all, all day or for the rest of the year. But this appeal that's going out, it is on behalf of Bird Aid, but it is also on behalf of the volunteers who have worked tirelessly, on behalf of the West Sussex group that we have, who are halfway through building an aviary and they want to try and raise some more funds to complete it for the winter, which would be ideal. But this campaign is also on behalf of so many rehabbers in the UK, uh, so many volunteers who took these birds into their homes because they had no choice but to do it. We don't know whether it was right or wrong, but what we do know is through all of our efforts, in effect, we also managed to preserve a declining species, which is what girls are. They are on the red list of an endangered species. And so I like to think that we played a really big part in helping many of them where so many others were lost. So this appeal is on behalf of all gull sites, and there aren't that many in the UK. So for instance, we've got skippers on the Isle of Wight who run a beautiful seagull sanctuary, but they, what they want to do is try and raise some more funds to replace their wooden aviaries with metal ones. Then you've got two uh, rehabilitation sites in Liverpool. One of them is called Wild Bird Rehabilitation with Charlene, who did tireless work. A lady called Denise from Foundation of Feathered Friends, a new organisation based in Wales, and we've been trying so hard to raise funds to keep them going and support them. The work is still coming in. There's still so much more to do. Then you've got a lady called Jenny in Exeter in Devon, who has been taking in girls selflessly for as long as I can remember, probably long before even I came along. Um, and there are other one or two other sites as well. Have a look at the links on the YouTube description. Some are on Facebook, some are on Instagram. There are different funding links there. Donate to whoever's in your area or whoever's closest to you if you possibly can. But Bird Aid are also looking to expand and they want to, um, they've got to develop their isolation unit, which has already started. And the funds that we got from the previous um, 
Feeding Steve an avian flu campaign three months ago started to set all of that in motion, which was fantastic. Um, so we just hope that you will continue to look at the links that are in the description of this video. If you can't donate, that's fine. Just show us some love, show us some support. We need to, I think, come as much as we can together to try and help and support these girls because we're hoping that avian flu will not affect girls next year, but we, there are no guarantees. At the moment, it's not affecting girls so much in some areas, but now it's affecting other waterfowl, such as swans and ducks. And avian flu has been around for a while, but I suspect much like COVID, it's going to be around for quite some time to come. I want to thank Aaron in Scotland uh, for agreeing to do this appeal, this Christmas appeal, on behalf of us and all the sites in the UK. I want to thank Stephen for being so entertaining in all of his videos, which we know that you've been enjoying. And I want to take this opportunity, especially during a cost of living crisis, which is affecting so many of us right now, to wish you the absolute best in terms of Christmases that you can possibly have and a prosperous new year where it's possible. Hang on in there. I'm sure it won't last forever. Um, and here's to hopefully an avian flu free season next year. But there are no guarantees. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Thank you for helping the girls on behalf of Bird Aid and all the other sites. We'll keep on working. We'll keep on plugging away, doing whatever we possibly can to make sure these girls are protected and safe. Check out the links. Peace out. Bye-bye.